Hello, and thank you for your interest in click to mails integration with Zapier. click to mail is a hybrid mail provider that lets you send real postal mail like letters, invoices, thank you cards, and postcards right from your computer. Zapier is a tool that allows you to connect the apps you use every day to automate tasks and save time. You create a Zap that connects a trigger to an action. Our integration with Zapier means you can connect click to mail to many commonly used applications like Google Sheets, Zoho, and Wufoo Forms, and use a Zap to automatically send postcards and letters. To demonstrate this functionality, I'm going to show you how to create a Zap that mails a postcard to a lead whenever I add an address to a Google Sheet. In this case, the trigger is adding an address to a Google Sheet. The action is mailing a postcard. To make this work, I have to set up a template skeleton job in my click to mail account, create a Zap, and hook the two together. Mail is paid for with the user credit that's purchased on the click to mail website. This is the Google Sheet I want to add addresses to when I want to send a postcard. Notice that I have two rows here, the first being a header row that gives titles to each of the columns, and the second being a valid address. I'm going to download that list and save it on my desktop because I'm going to upload it to my click to mail account in a few minutes. It's very important that the addresses in your trigger application have the same exact headers as the one you upload to click to mail. The method of doing this download could change depending on your trigger application, but if it's at all possible, I do highly recommend exporting a CSV or Excel file and using that for upload. Now I'm going to create a template job in my click to mail account. To create the template job, I'll log into my click to mail account. I'll access mailing online pro by clicking the blue button over towards the left. I'll start by creating a new project called zap demo PC. Then I'll click start job from the action menu on the right. I'm going to select postcards and the five by eight postcard from the product type menu and click continue. I'm going to review the print options, change my printing properties a little bit to indicate that I want black and white printing on pink paper and click continue. Next, I'll upload my postcard by clicking the select upload button. Then I'll click upload document. I'll browse to locate the file on my computer and then click upload. Next, I'll upload that list that I downloaded from Google Sheets. Click edit next to mailing list. Click upload new list. Browse to locate the file on your computer and click upload. Map the list and tell us how to print the recipient address block by selecting the fields from your list. Watch the label on the right. It's going to populate with data from your list as you make those selections. When you're finished, click Save and Close. Now that your list is uploaded, you can edit your document and insert mail merge fields if necessary. And when you're finished with the template job, you'll click Continue. You can click Download Proof here to download a PDF copy of your document proof and save it to your desktop if you'd like. You don't have to fund your click to mail account until you're ready to send mail. And when you are ready, all you have to do is log back into your click to mail account to purchase credit. Get there by clicking this My Account link that's always present in the upper right hand corner and then click Buy Credit. Now I'm ready to create the Zap. To do this, log into Zapier.com and click Make a New Zap. The trigger for this Zap is adding an address to the Google Sheet. So I'm going to select Google Sheets as my trigger app. I'll select New Spreadsheet Row as the trigger. Then I can click Save and Continue. Now I have to connect my Google account so Zapier can access the Google Sheet. If you have multiple Google accounts, you have to select the one that's storing the sheet and allow Zapier to have offline access to Google. We do recommend that you test the connection before you go any further. When you have a green success box, click Save and Continue. Now select the Google Sheet, which in my case is the Carly Demo PC Zapier Sheet, and the Worksheet, which is Sheet 1, that you want Zapier to query for new records. Click Continue. 
Click Fetch and Continue. Click Continue again to choose Click to Mail as the Action app. Choose Click to Mail. Click Create a Postcard and Continue. Now connect your Click to Mail account. Enter your Click to Mail username and password and click Yes, Continue to give Zapier permission to complete the action. Test the connection and when you get a green success button, click Save and Continue. Now we're going to hook up the template job I created a few minutes ago. From Project, I'm going to click Zap Demo PC. Next, I'll select my postcard job. Now I have to match the address fields from my list and sheet to the one seen here in Zapier. You see the word optional here, but this isn't really optional because we need an address to mail your piece. Click Create and Continue when finished. When you get the green Test Successful message, click Finish. Give your Zap a meaningful name. This will come in handy if you need to edit or delete it in the future. Turn your Zap on. After adding a row to your Google Sheet, you'll receive an order confirmation email that contains an invoice number for your mailing. The invoice will show you've paid for the job with user credit. You can log into your click to mail account to view your credit balance at any time. Some quick notes about Zapier. If you have a free Zapier account, you can use 100 zaps per month and Zapier will check your Google Sheet for new rows every 15 minutes. Paid Zapier accounts permit a higher number of zaps per month depending on your tier of service, and your sheet is checked much more frequently. Although there are no fees associated with click to mail aside from the cost of your mailings, the app you're using, Zoho for instance, may require a paid account. If you have any questions about fees related to that app, you would want to contact the app provider. Thank you for watching our Zapier demo. If you have any questions, you can contact our customer support department. We look forward to hearing from you.